in your head. Nah. This is the start of like the villain origin that's story. What you, that's what you deserve. Yeah, Joker origin story. Hold that. Yes! Hold that! Hold that! Hold that! Oh my god. Oh, look, so the nice. Match is starting right now. All right. Now, match is starting. Now, this is interesting. We got PK Chris coming through with the Nez, one of the, fi one of the finest in NA, and also D3 Will straight out of Maryland himself. Yeah, PK Chris from my region. So, definitely has experience in this matchup. Plays Costello a good amount mm. before Costello well, like, went away from school. So, definitely not unfamiliar. Also plays Weezer, who did upset Goblin at oh, wow, yeah. Collision. So, yeah, those, that's a big yeah. That, yeah. So that so in that case, he's got he's got the D three experience yeah. as well. D three will himself. He's actually not. He's a rare season player in his own right. He's actually being puppy in the yeah. region. So that that's one of the biggest wins I've heard of that he has. That oh, but right now D, PK Frisch is definitely pu pushing that um, advantage very well right now. Yeah. So I feel like DK. Oh no, DK. D D D is like one of those characters that like once you know the matchup, you almost don't lose. Yeah, it's very much. Yeah, it, 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 it's like it's like that a lot with characters that have pretty low, pretty poor mobility stats. Yeah. There's the back throw, absolutely kill PK first. PK is looking relatively untouched on that stuff. Yeah, but th this character, if you don't know it, frustrating. Yeah, it's so tragic. Much. It can become tragic so fast. Yeah, and a lot of it is really just like playing around. Um, it's a combination of oh, yo, this guy is definitely going to like mix up when he's going to fast fall in there or whatever. Yeah, and it's uh. If, if, if you're prepared for it, then definitely can yeah. go your favor. This this is a problem. Yeah. Oh, this he narrowly yeah. dodges. Every moment, every time they do that to me, my heart sinks. Yeah, you can actually two frame with it. Yeah, yeah, it's no, it's it's serious. <laughs> it's very serious. All right, again, he went. We see D3 will go for that inhale, and he gets mm. stuffed out by PK Chris, and Chris is starting to combo him. Yeah, I really like the. I really like that he was able to follow up even at, oh wow, not able to make it back. It looked, maybe he, he ran out of jumps and yeah. thought he had more than he than he actually did. But um, yeah, it's interesting too, the way that uh, PK Chris is like following up even after that super DDD jump has the armor on on the way up. Yeah. All right, you saw the shield pressure right there. He shield was the skittle at the moment. It should be a bit bigger right now as he goes to check it right there. And PK Chris, also self-proclaimed parry master. Self-proclaimed parry master. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and being nice with parries definitely is a, a game changer for yeah. sure. Clearly, a game changer right here is going to have to be in D3 Will's favor because right now PK Chris is just uh, he's kind of wiping the floor with Will. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Will is struggling to find the answer. Okay, Bear going to take it right there, but he needs to find a way to clean up these stocks a lot faster because if he does not, Chris is definitely going to roll all over him and. Even if he doesn't take this game, he needs to find an answer. What can he lead into game two that will like help him out? Oh my lord! Go, yo, uh, take me to the ball game, fella. Really, w that was actually extremely telegraphed. Yeah. That's the thing about this, because the Ness is a perpetual moving hitbox. Yeah. So all those, all those Gordos are just gonna get smacked right back. That time it was in a major way. Yeah. That, it, it killed him. Just yeah. straight up snuffed him, like the life out of him. And Chris. Again, the season in this matchup plays with two great deities of his own. There's like, okay, I'm prepared for this dumb situation. Oh, yeah. Can you remind me what region he's from? Is he from? Uh, I'm guessing it's Tri-State area, right? Tri New York. New York. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This exact state. So it's not it's not New Jersey like Adamus yeah. type joint, but it's still like there's still like yeah. it's, it's New it's New York. Yeah, I don't it's even New York. I'm not. Yeah, it's New York. I don't yeah. even think he's played Adamus, which is even crazier. Yeah, I know they're like it, it, around that area. Like you got like Ling playing like secondary DD out in CT yeah. and stuff like that. Man, man. Oh, I, I forgot about Link secondary DD. I, yeah, he, he got it. He got yeah, it. Yeah, D3 going with the. I like that D3 will go into the FD counter pick. This could actually be better because those platforms don't really do D. They do yeah. not do DD any justice in this matchup. If anything, they're setting up for more potential tech chase for yeah. PK first. I do hear a lot of platform setup. Oh, again, stuffed out right there. But a lot of the platforms do mess with the Gordo traps. So yes. that's why they don't like stages like Battlefield or Yoshi's. They tend to like try to ban those stages. So yeah, that's very no, true. It's yeah. very true. So, no, in case you gotta fight a DD like later in life. Good reaction, DK Will with the or D I said DK Will D3 Will with the big catch on the on that uh, Gordo. It is something that DD's like, bro. That's how you know DD actually like. Oh wait, this guy knows because he's he's he's. I tried to hit it back at him, and he's absolutely yeah. beating me with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, with that, Flourish. That's when it gets scary. He's like, oh, man, what do I do? Oh, nice up tilt. Almost killing, almost. Yeah. All right. Caught the spot dodge with an up smash right there. And I do like a lot of the fact that the Nesses are going for that situation. They're just 
ignoring, like, before they used to go for, like, back throw. And it's like, nah, we don't do that anymore. We just up smash on your shield. Oh, wow. Oh. That's actually huge. Yeah. yeah. That's something that's really good. Like, if you're... If you want to take the damage, you can go out there and just make it so that he gets a shortened distance on yeah. his PK rocket. But in that case, the Gordo's going to do the job. Yeah, it's definitely intelligent. That's like a matchup knowledge check. So D3 will definitely experience in the matchup, but can they clean it up enough to take out this game? They now have the lead or like fighting back and forth for it. So definitely doing a lot better than game one. Yeah, and the cool thing about DED is that even if you're down percentage-wise, the like realistically he's not going to die for another 35 percent unless PK Chris gets another grab or something like yeah. that. That that that's an upbeat, and that's that's an amazing problem. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah that's that's what's a risk yeah. because even if you do you do that through the down smash, you do that upbeat through the yeah. with the armor, you still are going to get smoked even if you cancel it. Like you're definitely yeah. like it's probably going to be so curtains. Yeah, that. and that just felt so like set up and so like formulated. Excellent. Oh my yeah, god, the lingering frames on that are insane and it's such a strong move and kill you like 70. Yeah. The excellent awareness from D3 will like really that's the thing like if you if he does win neutral by any chance against this little constant mobile hitbox yeah. that is Ness then pushing that in terms of the ledge trapping we, he did he done that twice this game so it could happen again on a third stop but D3 is going to have to try yeah. hard to make that happen. Yeah. And you can't punish that Nair. That Nair is I believe like I don't want to say the exact frame there. I feel like minus 3 or 4 but it's definitely not a move you can you should contest like that. And you're already seeing Chris just trying to like snuff, snuff it out, just pinning Gordo's back and just saying, okay, I'm gonna pressure you because DD doesn't have the greatest out of shield option. He only really has us smash, and that's not even that fast at all. Oh wow, nice chap just challenges him with the run out grab. Oh, yeah. oh wow, interesting. Yeah, it came out of the downward angle because yeah. of the way it was sent originally. Gordo led trap. DD's or DD's bread and butter for sure. Continues to keep the Gordos going. All right, I like the air dodge back. Regrab. PK Chris, normally you'd see people kind of like panicking in the left, yeah. but PK Chris is content to just have not, not have safe control. Yeah. It, oh, oh, wow. Okay. That didn't get yeah. good, that. good DI, but oh, up tilt and, is. Oh, yeah. man, yeah. If, bro, the brawl heads know up tilt is the real up yeah. smash. Uh, that, <laughs> up tilt's the real up smash. I fought this character enough to feel like a brawl head right there. Cause yeah. That little head bump, like, ugh. Yeah, that joint is serious. I, I think, I, I like, I don't know if that joint has a sweet spot on the little metal part of the yeah. hat, but it looks like, it look, for some reason, that joint just be looking stronger. Yeah. All right, so, if you saw game one, you would have thought this would have been, like, a wash. Like, yeah. You, you, you would have thought, thought this was, like, a, like, like phase one pools match, yeah. but now nah, we in phase two. Right, we are in phase two. D3 will definitely great with the adaptation, and... Hopefully, Chris can adapt the right back. We're going to Smashville. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going to be the last game between these two players. Still in that best of three part of the bracket. Yeah, this is best of three. And we're, I believe best of five it will be for tomorrow. Yeah, that'll be yeah. tomorrow when top 32 begins. Yeah. And right now, D3 will, like, took a lot of damage off being trapped on the ledge there. Really under duress. And again, PK Chris looking so comfortable just having his back to the wall. No big deal for him as long as he's just able to just not, as long like as long as you're not dying early to a character that's such a heavy hitter like DD. And quite frankly, you don't have that much to worry about. That's what PK Chris is probably thinking. Yeah. And that and, mentality's working out for him. Yeah, and but the big thing I'm afraid of if for Chris is the fact that we're on a smaller stage now, though he gets to press a lot of buttons, that inhale in which he was dodging before, and now covers a good portion of the screen and he has to respect a lot of DD's buttons a bit more. Yeah. Definitely does demand to respect, especially with even though he has a, he's constantly a hitbox. Yeah. The range, the range differential is certainly there, and that down smash differential is absolutely going to be there as well. Pink fresh, oh, I said pink fresh, but I'm I am bugging out, bro. Yeah, no, PK, I yeah, I'm warming up, bro. PK Chris taking it, and he's still looking back. Like that game one dominance is kind of looking like it's coming back. Yeah, hey, he's definitely taking a commanding lead, and if D3 will can take this out and even it up, 39 percent is almost nothing on DD. Being like one of the top three heaviest characters in the game. Legit, no. yeah. And also that fast fall speed makes it extremely difficult to kill him off the top. Yeah. The up air almost doing off the top. That was some amazing DI from PK Chris. Yeah, fabulous right there. It's a dash back angle. It's a dash back yeah. angle. Actually, no, he's not going to go for it. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I, that actually came out just in time for the PK fire hit. Just, just needed it, man. This, this is like a storyline 
to play. If you're a D3 Will fan, definitely things yeah, might there, be setting There are over. D3 Will fans in this chat right now, yeah. like watching this live, 100%. Definitely seeing things to be set up, 99%. D Didi also one of the characters to die the latest off the top, being the fact that he's a fastball. So nothing to fear on that end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice conversion into the up air, almost killing, not quite. Again, that fast fall speed makes E3 so hard to kill out the top. Kill out the top. There's the back throw. Another thing that PK Chris is doing that D3 will is kind of like like he, when he tries to get a low yeah. percent inhale and then turn around and then spit him out for stage control, but that's not because D, PK Chris has enough time to mash out. There you go, immediate spit. Yeah. That makes it so that he's not able to get that forward air, so it's minus on hit like yeah. it was before. All right. Oh. Mm. He likes that setup. It's double PK fire into Dare. The second you get caught into that, it's most likely game over. Yeah, but exactly. He, yeah, he didn't get the second, second one right there. Yeah, D3, D3 D3 is so, so big and there's so much body to hit. All right. He's seeing a lot of fares. It's like a cross-up right now. And this is looking really tough. If D3 will can get a call out or something. All right, goes for the Goro ledge trap. Tries to mix up the timing with a little bit of a spit on the uh, in, on the Gordo, not quite. And then Nair actually does it with some uh, mediocre DI. And honestly, it's not it's not that far off from even yeah. in the right conditions if D3 Will was able to make it happen. Yeah. We we did see the dash oh, attack before. Wow. Oh yeah, that's gonna take it. Yeah, the jump was scouted. There's a, with the slow ground speed. I like that. PK Chris kind of got the idea. Like okay, like based on his habits so far, he doesn't really run in on the ground. He's probably gonna try to jump yeah. to get, jump to escape, and that's when he scouted out with yeah. that full hop back air. Really good play from yeah. him. A lot of characters in this game do like to jump out with everybody having a universal yes. frame three jump squad, except Kazuya. So, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good for him. True. But <laughs> yeah, no. But it's like. So a lot of people do like to jump out, and that's now like the big thing to scout out. So you see a lot of upper echelon players just snuffing it out, and you see a lot more rolls on that side, or like a lot of stands still in place. Right. Yeah. When you look at high level gameplay, like observing what they do in the corner. Yeah, a little bit of like homogeneity in that yeah. sense. Yeah. Because of the because again of that universal friendly jump squad. That's a good observation that you made. But yeah, 